Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to the workshop. Fantastic to have you here, because on today's episode, we are hoping to be finishing the falchion. Thank you for joining us, and I very much hope you enjoy. We left off yesterday forging this little peen block. We are getting a little grind. Now time for some... <clears throat> Gonna clamp it up in the vise. You remember in the last episode, we had wrapped up the leather with some twine while the glue dried. Now, I wasn't particularly sure if it had worked perfectly well. I thought it was a little rough. I thought our measurements on the leather this time were a little on the long side, and it kind of squished up weirdly. And we poked it back down with the string, and it hasn't spent a huge amount of time drying. It's only been about oh, I don't know, two, three hours or something like that. But I just want to have a look at it, because I'm impatient, and see how it looks. So what is cool is you can hardly see a seam. The seam is really, really faint. What is not cool is exactly what I was talking about with that excess material squeezing up and coming up and over the pommel. That is it. It looks rough. It looks rough. But the shape of the leather was much better this time. It could have been a little narrower, um, and it also needs to be a little bit shorter than I made it. it certainly feels pretty tight on there even though it hasn't dried for a long time. Let's see if we can peel it off, cause, oh wow. I just ripped the leather with my fingernail. <laughs> Here we go, peeling it off so that we can start again. Wow, now that's a tight connection between the leather and the wood. It has separated the leather before breaking at the bond. So at least it goes to show that, hey, wood glue, not necessarily not working, seems to do a little bit of the trick. So with this off, the handle cleaned up again. It's now time to move on to leather handle wrap attempt number four, five, something like that. Okay, so this attempt here, it went a whole lot better, and I think this is the one. We got the leather neatly up against the guard, neatly up against the pommel. I think it's gonna be okay. I also used power cord to wrap it around instead of the garden twine, because I was finding the garden twine was leaving these little hairs on there. A little, when, you, when it ripped off, left these little garden twine hairs. I didn't like that, it didn't look very clean, and I didn't know how to clean it off. So hopefully when we unwrap this, it's gonna be much better. Of course, now, back on to the peen block we go. Obviously, this is huge, it's gigantic. We don't want it this big. I wanted to make sure we had plenty to play with and grind. That's, it, that's what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna run into the grinding room. We're gonna grind this into a little bit of an interesting shape before it is we work on our inlay. Now, one other thing I need to do is grind the appropriate radius onto the inside so there isn't too much of a gap. So we're gonna be doing all of that. Right, so we have the peen block all ground up, ready at a 120. What I want to do now, now that it's been a little while, not long enough, but a little while, is I want to take off our cord wrap. You'll obviously see it's already started to fall off here at the end of the pommel from pulling this on and off. It's gonna be interesting to see the texture that this cord left. Uh, interesting. I tell you what though, that is the best leather wrap yet. That is just really, 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 really so much better than any others I've done. I do not like the texture though. I don't like the texture. I think we may be able to do something to it. Certainly the best leather wrap we've done though. All right, let's get that pommel in place. And now we're gonna give the peen block a press fit and we're gonna see what adjustments need to be made. A Little bit of PVC pipe. Needs more filing. Need to take a little off this side. So now it's time for a little, uh, a little, a little, a little, a little, a little. Blue dragon. 
I'm gonna get set up with my calipers so we can scribe it. Oh, I messed up. All blue diagram. I didn't account for the width of the groove. Now I'll scribe it. Look at that. We'll lock it in the vise. And here we go. Moly, am I happy with how that inlay turned out. There was actually a little bit of an error in my groove that I carved, but fortunately peening it got it looking sweet and beautiful, which I'm very pleased about. What I'm also pleased about is the beautiful finial that this leaves. The finial of that beautiful bronze inlay goes fantastically with the bronze inlay of the guard. I think it really helps tie the design together. But I'm still not happy with that handle. It's now dried for a day, the glue, and so I think we can now work with it. The texture that the paracord um, wrap that we used to glue it left on is really not nice at all. It doesn't look good at all. And so what I want to try and do is I want to see if maybe we can work with this leather in its glued state to flatten it off and smooth it off. Maybe that's possible. We also have this unsightly lip up here which we need to sort out. So I think the first port of call is going to be moistening it with some water, see if that will moisten the leather, make it more supple. And now I'm gonna try rubbing the leather with this leather-backed sanding stick. So I've been messing with it for a good while. I'm just not happy with how it looks, not at all. My understanding is that the cord wrap is meant to give it a nice texture that, uh, that'll you know give it extra grip, but also looks nice. Well, this paracord wrap, it gave it a texture, but it did not look nice. I've been fighting with it here for a long while. Tried rubbing it with leather, rubbing it with the G10 plastic, even tried sanding it, and I'm just not happy enough at all with how it is so sadly wow at least we know wood glue works great sadly we're starting again so in my impatience of course i tried to make do with what it is that i had on hand to do the leather wrap i wanted to get this project finished as quick as possible obviously the downside to then being impatient and trying to get things done as quick as possible is you then end up doing things the wrong way and it ends up taking you more time i did this the wrong way and it's taking me more time so we're gonna make a little trip i'm gonna see what i can get from town that's gonna work better for the cord wrap Okay, I'm back. Mission largely unsuccessful. This is all I found. This ridiculous stuff which we're not gonna use. And then packaging cord, obviously not gonna use that. Now I have the same cord that I use to stitch when we're doing the leather working. Maybe this will work nicely. So I've got some leather contact cemented onto this PVC pipe. We're gonna do a little test wrap. That's perfect, look at that. Just a slight texture but nothing too crazy. That is absolutely perfect. I'm pretty confident that provided I do not mess up, this is gonna be the one, and we will wrap it in that cord, and this is gonna be the successful leather wrap. I've just skived it down, and this is the best skived piece I've done yet. I also thinned down the middle, so it's an even thinner piece than the, uh, than the leather was at before. This is gonna be promising. I feel, feeling good about this one.
it's now been quite a few hours since the leather has been gluing up. We're now gonna take that waxed cord off. See how it looks. Much, much better. That is a much more appropriate texture. Chop, it still slices paper. This is one of the most exciting projects I have undertaken. Twisted pommel, Hamon 1095, soft back, hard edge. And not too brittle that it didn't break through that lamb bone. Thank you guys for watching this series. Please do head on over to the website, alexdealshop.com, and grab yourself a t shirt, whether it's the million subscriber t shirt, whether it is a cool polo like this or the steel buoy shirt, I'd be very grateful. I wanna thank, of course, James Elmsley for all his incredible, very educated help on the topic of the Falchion. Without his help, this would not have turned out how it did. I wanna thank you guys for tuning in. A big thank you to Alex, Bull Blades, intern Alex for doing a great job. Big thank you to Jamie on the camera and in the edit. Thank you guys again. This is very exciting. Let me know what you want us to make next time down in the comments below. I'm gonna see you tomorrow. <laughs>